Good morning, this is Duane, and let's take a look today at the classic song from World War II, I'll Be Home From Christmas. It goes like this. It's a beautiful song, not a very long song, but it was one of the great hits of World War II. In fact, I think it was the biggest song eventually of World War II, and certainly the most requested around Christmas time. It was recorded by Bing Crosby in 1943, and uh, it went on to become, like I say, huge because it was written from the point of view of a soldier, a U.S. soldier in World War II saying, I'll be home for Christmas, uh, save some mistletoe and presents and so on. Uh, but then it ends by saying, if only in my dreams. And for most, or a lot of those guys, it was only in their dreams. They didn't make it home for Christmas. And of course, as you know, many didn't make it home at all. So it was a very sad song. But uh, still, it brought, it brought hope and memories of Christmas to those guys. So let's take a look at the chord structure. And I'll leave the... Uh, expert playing of it to someone much better than I, but I just want to walk you through the chords, okay? If we're doing it in the key of C, which I usually do just so that it makes it easier for everybody, uh, it starts out the C chord. You can put this second in if you want. I like it. Now the next chord is a diminished seventh chord, if you like that. That would be E flat, G flat, A, and D. I got a letter recently saying, how come you don't name those uh, diminished seventh chords? Well, that's because a diminished seventh chord can be named by any note in the chord. In other words, that could be the C diminished seventh chord, the E flat diminished seventh chord, the G flat diminished seventh chord, the A diminished seventh chord, or inharmonically, the F sharp diminished seventh chord, or the D sharp diminished chord. So any, any note in a diminished seventh chord can, be, can function as the root, in other words. But well, since E flat's on the bottom, we'll, we'll call it E flat diminished seventh chord. Now, if you don't like the sound of that, then go to A minor seventh. That, that's a nice substitute. I'll do that. There's C, A minor. I'm putting a seventh in it. A minor seventh. D minor seventh. It's D minor seventh, but the melody is G, so it's kind of a, kind of a suspension. I have D. F, A, C, D, F, G. And that goes to, uh, progresses nicely to G seventh. I use a little passing tone in there. The sixth of the chord, flat six, fifth. Next chord uh, could be E, uh, E eleventh, I guess, yeah. The 11th wouldn't have to be that, but uh, that'll work. And the next chord is an A seventh. If you don't like that sound, then just play an A seventh. The melody is B flat, which turns out to be a flat ninth. And I'm putting in the, the sixth of the chord with it, going to the lowered sixth again. Oh, same thing as I did last chord, I guess. D minor. D minor. Uh, actually, that's D minor 7th over G. I'm using a uh, block chord style here. D minor. E 7th. G 7th with suspension. G 7th with a flat ninth. C, 
G with B on the bottom. That's so we'll have a nice counter melody. It's A minor. That's D seventh suspension. I'm playing the fourth instead of the third. And you can use a flat uh, fifty if you want. I would resolve that if you, if you uh, if you use it. A minor seventh suspension. G. If you want to do a, a half step slide, you can go from G seventh to D flat seventh. I'm playing the D flat root fifth. My left hand and my right hand, I'm playing an E flat chord over it. In other words, that that works anyway. <laughs> okay, I won't go into detail of why, but that'll work if you like that that course up and touch. I'm using A minor, D minor seventh, G seventh. Now, if I wanted to go from G seventh down. Uh, I, I'm headed for E 11th again, but I think I'll go down via uh, F 7th with a flat 5th there. There's that E 7th, uh, E 11th. A flat again, oh, I'm sorry, <clears throat> A 7th again. D minor 7th. F 6th. Uh, uh, I would use a substitute chord there, B flat seventh. And here you have your choice between E seventh or you could go E diminished seventh if you want. That's A seventh. And I'm using a color tone in it. I'm using a flat sixth and a flat third. That's D seventh, but it's got a six in it and a ninth. That's a D seventh, but I have a ninth in it. And that's G seventh with a flat uh, flat ninth. And then to end it, like that. I'll leave it to somebody much better than me to demonstrate that. But anyway, th those are the chords. So I just wanted you to have that walk through. So if you enjoy this sort of thing, tune in again tomorrow when I'll have a different video for you. And come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free newsletter on chords and chord progressions. So I hope to see you there. And meanwhile, Merry Christmas.